Hello and welcome to the Worldly Black channel. I've had a few questions recently about my absolute favourite portable battery charger, this Toolkit RC M8 Smart Charger. Can it really charge 6, 7 and 8 cell LiPos even though the input is only rated at 30 volts? Let's find out. If you've watched my channel before, you'll know just how much I rate this Toolkit RC M8 Smart Charger. Yes, it's an awesome portable charger, but there's loads of those. This though is the Swiss Army knife of chargers. You can use it to measure things like battery voltages, balance and internal resistance, as well as look at PWM, PPM and S bus signals on this servo plug on the side. And I use this all the time to check that receivers are working. You can also check your ESC outputs on here as well. And it's a signal generator as well. It'll generate PWM, PPM and S bus signals, again on this servo plug, so you can check things like your flight controller is actually responding. Or you can set it up as a variable voltage and current power supply with an output on here. Now, this is perfect when you're out in the field flying or just on the bench and need to charge up batteries or quickly check things. Just power it off another battery. I use this 10,000 milliampere hour 4S and you're pretty much good to go. Now the input supply is rated at 10 to 30 volts as you can see on the back here. And it'll pretty much charge up any battery type up to 15 amps. Obviously you'll need enough volts and current on the input side to make this work to its maximum performance. But if the input is rated at 30 volts max, how can it charge up 8S LiPos? 8 times 4.2 is 33.6 volts. Well, this crafty little charger is actually a step up power source as well. So here I've got my 10,000 milliamp hour 4S LiPo. Just power this up. And if I plug in this GMB 6S LiPo. So this will need at least 25.2 volts at full charge. So let's get this charging. LiPo and we'll charge at one amp and you can see it's automatically picked up the fact that we're on 6S and charge to 25.2 volts. Now this is a fully charged battery anyway so let's have a look on the meter and see what we've got. So this is producing 25.34 volts and this would work the same if I'd plugged in an 8S LiPo, if I had one. It would be the correct voltage to charge 8S. Remember, you can't get power from nowhere, so you have to take into account the wattage. If you're trying to charge a 4S 10,000 milliampere hour LiPo, like this one, from a 1S 500 milliampere battery, it's clearly not going to work watts equals voltage times current and you'll need at least as many watts on the input side as you require on the charging side. Actually you need a bit more because the charger isn't 100% efficient. So the M8 just works and it works really really well. It doesn't have a fancy display or a clever touch panel but it concentrates on doing a great job and being an all-round smart piece of kit and it's super cheap. Thanks for watching and if you found that quick tip useful give me a thumbs up and leave a comment and if it's your first visit then please consider subscribing to the channel for updates. I'll see you next time.